Hello, this is me Rekha Sain on Swasthya. Today we are going over the pathophysiology of the multiple sclerosis, in which we will study about the how and why the myelin sheath will degenerate. So, shall we start? Okay. So, myelin sheath is the protective sheath surrounding the axon, allowing them to quickly send electrical impulses. This myelin sheath is produced by oligodendrocytes, which are the group of cell support the neurons called neuroglia, especially in the CNS. Where myelin sheath in the PNS is produced by Schwannen cell. Want to know in detail? Go in the description and check out the link of histology of the nervous system, where I discuss all of these things in detail. Multiple sclerosis occur in the CNS in which demyelination break down the communication between the neurons result in sensory motor and cognitive problems neurons of the cns is protected by blood brain barrier which only gets certain molecules or cell through the blood for immune cell like t and b cells have a right ligands to surface molecules to get through blood brain barrier is kind of vip pass to get into the exclusive entry through the blood brain barrier once the t cell makes way and it is get activated by myelin sheath once the t cell get activated it changes the blood brain barrier cells to express more receptors this allow the immune cell to more easily bind multiple sclerosis is a type 4 hypersensitivity or cell mediated hypersensitivity it means those myelin specific t cells release cytokines like interleukin 1 interleukin 6 tumor necrotic factors alpha tumor necrotic factors uh, gamma this all together dilate the vessels and allow more immune cells to get in it was a directly caused damage to the oligodendrocytes b cytokines also track b cell and macrophages as a part of the inflammatory reaction those t cells start to make antibodies that mark the myelin sheath protein and then macrophages use those antibodies marker to golf and destroy the oligodendrocytes Without oligodendrocytes, no myelin recover the neuron and leave behind the scar tissue. This scar tissue, also known as a plex or the sclera, then regulatory T cell comes and say like Big B, all right everyone, calm down. And what was happened? According to the order of Big B, means our regulatory T cell inflammatory reaction is reduced and remyelination will start. Oligodendrocyte heal and extend out a new myelin sheath and recover the neuron, the whole process called remyelination. This process is divided into the five stage which you already know that and do remember it. So remyelination occur in early on multiple sclerosis. Unfortunately, over a period of time, this oligodendrocytes off. So remyelination will stop and damage become irreversible and loss of axons so this is all about the pathophysiology of the multiple sclerosis so like comment and share this video and subscribe this channel so you get notified by latest video and want to stay connected with me follow me on the instagram link in the description stay tuned and stay safe